welcome back to the Sara Nana channel. Today we're gonna tackle a corner that I left behind during my last kitchen makeover. <music> My kitchen is really small. I was in a big need of extra storage. So I was thinking about shelving. And I decided to go for open shelf because the clothes shelf, too bulky for this tiny kitchen. Said so, my idea was to get shelving tall, more or less like me, to have a bunch of storage. But unfortunately, on the IKEA side, where I could get the same type that I have my TV unit in the living room. This one was really, really small. Something like one meters and 35 centimeters. And being in a hunt for a tall open shelf unit with the industrial style, I found exactly what I was looking for. And I also have a laundry machine on, I'm really sorry. I have to build an gisk shelf. I'm gonna show you where. We are in the kitchen and this is the corner that have to be sorted out. And this shelf had to fulfill three bullet points for me. The first one, aesthetic. It's always about aesthetic. Second one, I have some dog food that I had to hide somewhere. And the third one, I had a bunch of terracotta dishes, glasses, cans that I had to store, but in a really nice way. So I have to sort out this kind of cutlery. I have the dog treatment because it's really close to the door. And I'm also planning to use the pampas grass in the kitchen because right now, not the best choice over there. Ready, steady, go. <laughs> The color is perfect. Like, this is exactly the color of my kitchen. <laughs> Sometimes I'm just a genius. No, that, that was, that was a nine. No, five, wait, what? Six? This is the plan. So if you can see, I have all the numbers. I really think that I just have to fix one with the other. Let's go. Ladies. Um. Um, some thoughts. The quality is not like the best. I mean, some things, if you check from really close up, you can see that it's not perfect. Like, do you see here? If I was turning it a little bit too much, it would have cracked. But I'm really impressed by a couple of things. First of all, here, there is one hook that uh, you can uh, drill into your wall so that this can be child-proof. And the second thing, because remember, okay, the quality is not the best, but it was really cheap for the size of it. It was a bargain. You have also, you see, these are feet that can turn so that you can level it. So, thumbs up for this gist shelf. Time to remove everything. Kind of easy that this on wheel. The color is perfect, thank God, with the kitchen. And at this point, I started to try to place the items in different spots of the shelf to see how they were going together, how was the flow. Starting to style it. I'm gonna clean this and I'm gonna put the pumps 
grass here using a drum buoy bottle and voila nicer in general my rule has been trying not to concentrate the same type of item or the same type of color close to each other vertically or horizontally so you had space and the eye could go here and there in a more harmonic way it is really nice but i really think that over there i can put the um dog's treat so I have to rearrange it. At the beginning for the dog food, I had thought about a basket, but I have to say that this solution was way better. I'm having a great idea. The dog treat inside is the perfect color. So I'm gonna put everything here. I'm gonna put, it, put the uh, bag inside out and I'm gonna refill them to see how I can style it. Uh, sometimes I feel I'm a genius. Yes. Yes. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna fold it so that the green it will won't be visible. How sleek! How sleek! Zero euros. Just tell me that it's working. Not that bad. I thought I was done, but then I really felt the need of a light with the two dark walls. And plus, I really wanted it to be the star of the corner. I thought that a light would have been the perfect solution. And if I'm gonna use some light in my special corner, I could borrow this light and see if it's working. The colors are perfect. Um, not the biggest fan, but I have to admit that when you light it up, it's really, really special. So the overall feeling is that this is a bedroom light and you are asking yourself, what the heck are you doing in a kitchen? So the idea is not so bad, but the execution, can get better. I got this one that was downstairs and I wasn't a fan of it downstairs. Hmm, let me see. Too modern. I restyled it and in this way it's working much better, but I really think that there is something wrong in it. That's why I made an Instagram poll to ask you if you think that it, this lamp is too modern or not. You actually voted that it's okay, but there is something that is driving me off about this lamp. But maybe I understood what. We can fix it. I am actually thinking about ripping and tearing this apart to leave the, just the skeleton and make it in a brass color so that I can pull also that color. And because of this typical Greek coffee machine, I knew that I had to incorporate metals in the composition so everything could flow together in a better way. And I knew deep down to my heart that also the light that I had to choose had to have some metallic elements. It's done. Tell me just that somehow I can clean this out. Whoa, yes! Okay, so let me finish all of this and we can already see that we have a nice skeleton to work with. I happen to have an Edison bulb that is exactly what I was going for. I'm gonna send it. I'm gonna prime it, I'm gonna spray paint it in gold. I really hope that I have a gold because now it's quarantine and I don't know if the shops are open. Primer, good. Um, a little bit of golden color. I'm just going to unscrew this, okay? So that I can spray paint this by itself and now I'm gonna 
prime it whatever we can from this few color yes yes and again yes I like it much more I don't know how about you, but I am so pumped on how it turned out. I really couldn't stand that kitchen corner anymore. Thank you so much for taking your time to watch the video. And if you liked it, please give a like. And it's really important if you could also subscribe. It's the red button down there. See you in the next one. Bye. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Da 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 In the IKEA side, I found a cat. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Would you like to disappear inside? Still late to apologize. Too late.